We got our juices, we got our seafood assortment, and we also got our special guest here, Nang Now, Nang Tai. Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Bayon. This is Dion. And we are here at the 39th Annual Hmong International Freedom Festival. Sir. This festival is all about Hmong people coming around from all around the world or even around the states here, you know. We got people from Cali, Michigan, uh, Wisconsin, Minnesota, North Carolina, a bunch of where Hmong people reside. Reside. And today there's like plenty and plenty of plenty of like vendors. So we're gonna be trying a lot of different foods today. Um, we're actually just gonna look at the ones that are like most appealing. There's just so many different options that it's just gonna really vary depending on which one looks the best or not. So we're gonna go try the Hmong pepper burger first. So let's go. What's the trolley? Hey, what's up guys? So right here, our first stop, we're actually at Blueprint Burgers. Um, and I would like to introduce these two guys. Hi guys, I'm Jenny. And I am Sam. So today we ordered the Moon Pepper Burger and they're going to explain a little bit about what it is. Honestly, it originally started back in the day. My old man used to have a steakhouse, so I used to do it all the damn time. So um, what we did is we just put Moon Pepper on a burger, pepper jack cheese, um, onions, pickles, and um, yeah, that's that's it. Honestly, we shot it like six months. Yo, like, we released it six months and we got like three biters, like, for like, and they were like consistent every single day. And then finally we did a snap on it and then it blew up. So, that's how it happened. So, where are you guys located? Uh, Maplewood Mall. Hey, if you guys are ever in the area, Twin Cities, definitely stop by Maplewood. Um, like I said, it's fire. We're about to eat it though, but it's gonna be fire. Alright guys, so we got our Moan Pepper Burger with an egg on top from Blueprint Burgers. They are located in Maplewood Mall in Maplewood, Minnesota. Here we got some bacon, pickles, the egg is optional. Um, Moan Pepper, caramelized onions, some pepper jack, tomato, lettuce, and the buns. It's got, it's got pretty much everything, you know everything, yeah. everything to make a perfect burger. Okay, so this is the secret to eating this burger, okay? you gotta keep that foil on. And then it keeps everything held up together. Alright. That's how you eat a burger. They say you're mm -hmm. supposed to eat the burger upside down so the juice is soaked into the top part. Alright, my turn. This is my first meal of the day, so I'm inspired. So I'm... Oh my god! Yeah, I need to eat real quick. I need to eat real quick. <laughs> the burger is really big, but then once you take a bite, it just melts down. <laughs> And I really like the bacon too, that's just like crispy as well. It's good, the mom pepper is spicy, uh, pickles are nice, tomato, lettuce, everything balances out really well. Um, you know, they don't go they don't go cheap with the patty, they got a lot of good meat up in there. Uh, like you said, the bacon, the bun is toasted real nice, and it's all grilled outside here, which makes it a little more even, even nice that much roll. better. Okay, let's roll. <laughs> Right here, dude. That's what you call pure sugar cane juice. Alright. Let me get this to go. Oh, my dollar drop. Alright, guys, we're back. We got our juices, we got our seafood assortment, and we also got our special guest here, Nang Now, Nang Tai. What's up, guys? <laughs> this is some sugar cane juice. It's my favorite drink in the entire world if you've never had it. So earthy, so natural, but also sweet and delicious at the yeah. same time. Okay, so a little bit about the food that we got. This is like some kind of like some Thai, like some Southeast Asian like street food type shit. We have squid, fish ball, lobster ball, I believe, and this is a shrimp roll or a shrimp whatever. Yep. I want to try this though. I'll take this. I'll take the squid. Cheers. Oh, <laughs> look at that. This is the squid head with a bunch of pepper on it. Like a pepper sauce. Super bomb. This super good. This one's, one's oh, super zesty, bomb. kind of. Yeah. Very saucy. Yeah. I thought the texture was going to be a little bit different, but it actually holds up together pretty well. This is regular shrimp. I think it's imitation crab. Yeah, I think it's, it's not really a lobster ball. Yeah. It tastes more like you said. It's imitation it's crab. Yeah. Alright, so I got the shrimp. He's got the fish ball. Let's go. Every time, bro. I don't know if this is a fish ball, man. What is it? What does it taste like? It's like rubbery. <laughs> kind of reminds me of like candy. The real. shrimp this don't taste fresh. It don't. It's a little sweet too. <laughs> it doesn't. Yo, this is flame. Look, mine is almost done, bro. Look, there's still like 
halfway. Mine is like almost done. You know, this is our treat for the best of the day. <laughs> it really reminds me of uh, coconut water a little bit too. Mm -hmm. But, but better. better. Way better. Way better. <laughs> <laughs> Way more awesome. expensive too, unfortunately. Okay, we're gonna transition to the next spot in three, two, one. Yo, what's up, guys? So we just literally stopped by Wonder's Ice Cream. Ooh, <laughs> and we're grabbing some of this. This is actually a blueberry haze, like lemonade or something like that. Yep, I got the strawberry fizzle. I think they have those. Uh, what's the ice cube called? I have no idea. I don't know. Oh, nitrogen ice oh, that I makes it <laughs> bubble. His is looking better than mine. Mine ain't looking that hot. Look how hot. appealing this looks. Isn't it's, that dope? It's aesthetically appealing. Hi. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, I like that one. That one just, dude, on a hot day. This shit is fire. Uh, you can taste it. Like this, said, it's homemade lemonade. This isn't no powdered stuff. You know, they make this by themselves. Uh, you want to trade? Let's trade. The blueberry haze is really good. That's strawberry. Let me see. Strawberry haze is bomb as hell too. I like this one. This one is good. This one is real good. A little bit of vodka in here would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> this is just our drink Woo! break. So we're going to move on to more food. All right, gang? Let's go. Cheers to July 4th and fresh wine, y'all. <laughs> Yo, what's up guys? So, we have just got our food. It took us about like a good 30 minutes just to get some papaya. It took um, but overall, this is what like everyone comes here for. Like, I don't give a fuck what anyone says, but I feel like this is what everyone comes here for. Uh, what we have here is we have some purple sticky rice, uh, some mung sausage, and some chicken. And then uh, right here, I got the papaya salad. Uh, it's got the papaya, it's got fermented fish, tomatoes, lime, and then I don't know what this one is. I forgot what it's called, but it's really bomb. Trust me. You ready to dig in? Let's go. Okay, I'll go first on this. I'll let you guys know about this one. Yeah, boy. Oh, shit. I'm shaky as hell. Mmm. This is good. This, I can't really explain the taste. If you don't like fermented fish, you won't like this. It's got fish sauce and all that in this too. Uh, papaya is a fruit, I believe, and this is what it looks like when they shred it up. This, this is definitely one of the dishes you should have here. Oh, you can also choose your spice level on this. I only put two peppers, because uh, that's all I can eat. <laughs> Gives me, I probably have like a couple, maybe like 30. <laughs> Hi. Papaya on a really hot day, it's always really good. Um, and, but like Damien said, this is like an acquired taste though. Yeah. Um, it's good though. Alright, so they give you a whole dang chicken thigh with a leg and everything. I'm just gonna rip it up right here and just try it out. I put this like this, like this, and like this, and I go like this. <laughs> <laughs> that is bomb.com, bro. It is pretty fire. And I can't, um, what is it? I forgot to mention that uh, this was only actually eight bucks. Yeah, this was, this was only eight bucks for chicken, sausage, and this. So uh, I don't know if they like lowered the prices here, but usually it's eight. It's pretty pricey. Yeah, but it was only eight dollars. So this for eight bucks. This is six bucks, but for well, fourteen dollars, you're getting a really good meal. It'll feed you, and maybe you and another person like us. I know for sure if I ate all this, my stomach will be full until the next year. So I'm good on this. Alright guys, thanks for joining us on another episode of Fresh Finds here. And today, we tried out a few different spots. I'm not going to name them off, I forgot who they are. But uh, my favorite spot though, out of all of them, would definitely have to be our last spot that we tried out. Which is the traditional, just long sausage with chicken and rice. Um, and you can't forget the papaya either. Um, that just tops it all off. Um, Dion, what's your favorite? My favorite today was the Mo Pepper Burger at Blueprint. Shout out to Sam and them for talking to us and letting us know what that was. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but overall though, it's getting really hot, so I think we're gonna call it a day. Um, time to go home and get some rest. Yep. Alright guys, follow us on IG, Facebook, and Instagram. We out!